Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be doing a comparison of the pigment PB29 between the Daniel Smith will be on the left and the M. Graham will be on the right. And the Daniel Smith is called French Ultramarine, and the um, M. Graham one is Ultramarine. So there's, but the pigment number is the same. So I am taking this straight from the tube off of my. Um, ceramic plate and this is the Daniel Smith I've put a line here to see how transparent the color is I also want to do just a slight gradation So, that have to be perfect. What I want to do is go ahead and bring this down, but I'm going to also come in recharge that. I should have probably wet it first. I don't know. I want to see how light it will come out. Alright. So while that's still wet, I'm going to come in here and see a little bit of the movement on that. I'm going to fire that in. I probably should have used a thicker brush too. Right away, I just see that the M gram, at least on the palette, has a lot more movement to it. Now, I am doing wet on dry technique. I may do a couple that have the uh, couple of swatches to the sides to check the flow better. Honestly, I really cannot tell a difference at this point. Just doing the swatching. Um, I'm going to go back into that and fire that up. Fire that in. At least that's what I call it, firing it in. Uh, yeah, I can kind of tell it does just seem to have a little bit more movement to it. But it could just be my bias because I really do like me, my M. Graham paints. And, uh, Not the best swatcher out there, but uh, 
All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch to a little bit bigger brush. And I am going to try wet and wet and see the movement of it. Let's see what the movement of this is gonna be. So we're coming into the Daniel Smith. And I want to test out the movement of it. So I'm going to fire that in there. How well does that move? So. And then also, too, how well is that going to granulate? Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to do the same over here, but for the... Uh, on the ground just to test the movement out on that okay oh wow oh wow yeah you can see for sure the m gram just flows better all right let's see fire that in fire that in Okay, we're gonna let that dry. My toy, my dog has his uh, squeaky toy. But yeah, um, I just wanted to see what the comparison was between these two. Now let's let that dry, and I'll be back. Okay, so here we are after it's dried. My first thoughts. This was a whole lot smoother. There's much more granulation in the Daniel Smith one. I do love this effect I got over here with the... Um, yeah, other than that, and both very transparent. Let me get a little bit closer for you. Both very transparent in color, which I really like. I just feel like it's probably the honey base and the M gram that just makes it such a smooth wash here. Um, yeah, I love it. I, I really like them both. Not big difference, but if you're someone who is steering away from a lot of granulation then the M gram is probably your best choice. But other than that, beautiful color. And thank you for watching this Daniel Smith versus M gram Ultramarine. Please subscribe for more reviews, tips, and paintings.